believe if General is alive, this thing will never happen. He can send a delegate. He can send. He can even go himself. That is how a leadership is supposed to be. This kind of thing will never happen to the United States of America because they stand with for their people. This kind of thing will never happen to the uh, Saudi Arabians because they stand for their people. So what we want the classical political leadership to look at this time around, if this kind of things happens, you have to be there, be with your people, stand with their people, protect your people, depend your people, and make sure that no anybody, because there's thousands of South Africans here in Nigeria, and he was somebody who was shying away from any military regime. So the whole thing that happened to him really happened by some accident, historical accident, let me call it. He was never interested. He wanted to go back to Kano, you know, and then uh, stay there and live with his fa uh, family quietly.
Okay. Your Excellency, we are here today. Okay. 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 And I guess you know, I'm not going to 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 I'm not of award to our late General Sina Abacha, who led this nation to success, to greatness, to a higher place. Our organization, our foundation, has uh, sat with its whole committee and decided that today is the day that we're supposed to come and make a presentation of this award to our great leaders and the award to be received by our Mother Hadia Mariam Sana Abacha on behalf of the general. And uh, the reason of the making the decision of the presentation of the award is actually on what is happening today in South Africa. Actually, on what is happening today in South Africa. We, the foundation has uh, gone into history to read about actually what the general did during his lifetime as the general at the head of the states of the Nigerian Republic. And today in South Africa, the South Africans are killing our Nigerian brothers and sisters. They are destroying our property. They are doing anything to show that there is no any relationship. We will never forget what the general did in standing by the authorities of the South African uh, uh, authorities to support them to make sure that South Africa is free from apartheid. We knew the history, we go through the history, and we will never forget his effort and support. So, and that is why the foundation decided to make the presentation of the award. And we are always praying for the general. May Allah forgive him. May Allah bless him. May Allah bless the family. May Allah protect the family. May Allah put him inside and then the So I'm going to read a little about the nomination, letter of nomination of Grand Patron. And they have decided again to make him a Grand Patron for life of the organization. I bring you hearty greetings from the Organization of Empowerment of Falling Heroes, Wives and Children Initiative, and appreciating the good legacy of your work in Nigeria. We are proud to inform you, sir, that our organization is duly registered with Corporate Affairs Commission and mandated to cater and provide social amenities and skills for the Falling Heroes, Wives and Children nationwide and globally. Our mission is to alleviate poverty and enhance the quality of life for all. Our vision is bringing hope to the deliberation on your achievement and support to humanity. We are pleased to inform you that you will be honored and bestowed on you with our prestigious award of excellence in your home to Her Excellency on the 13th September 2019 by 3 p.m. It is open state. Give honor to whom honor is due. Sir, we humbly wish to congratulate and appreciate you in all your support and contribution toward the prosperous Nigeria. Thanking you, sir, as we look forward in expecting for the dedication of your award to Her Excellency, Adja Marim Sana Abacha, and family on your behalf. We are going to receive this nomination on behalf of our late general, Sanya Abacha. We had that you are his grandchild, grandchild, and we are very happy to make the presentation to you. His name is Mama Sanya Abacha, and they are both on the same birthday. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. 
that's great. I pray that you will inherit our great, great leader. Secondly, we are going to decorate Mama. She's going to make this decoration to you. Good is here. Thank you very much. 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 Th
Okay, sir. Yes. Let's come to it. Okay, sir. Okay, we'll do it. Okay, sir. All right. Let's come to it. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Yes, Look, look at that. One more time. Cool, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Woman leader worldwide is going to make a presentation of this rose to Her Excellency as the best woman in the world. Because we are so patient with your husband. He is the most top human being in this world. A general who goes to war, who stands for to protect the country of almost 200 million people. And you are with him, you work with him, you support him, you stand by him, you are always making him a great man always. Because they said behind every successful man there is a woman. That's you are the woman. Yes. Yes. As the best wife, best mother. Then we are going to make a one minute silence for his remembrance. Everybody should rise up and say one minute silence for his remembrance. One minute silence. I should look.
فلم يكن شيء ولا قذيف ولا علم ولا مال ولا جاه ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله. اللهم الناس رضا خير كله عاجل وعاجل. ونعوذ بك من الشر كله عاجل وعاجل. ونعوذ بك من الشر كله عاجل وعاجل. اللهم إنا نسألك من خلقك ما سألك من عبدك ورسولك سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم. اللهم إنا نسألك من خلقك ما سألك من عبدك. 
Allahumma inna nasaluka inna al-khayr al-lazim nasaluka inna al-khayr al-lazim Amin. <laughs> وميتنا وصغيرنا وكبيرنا ونحرنا نحرنا عبدنا وضعينا وعصينا اللهم اغفر لموتانا تجاه بيه ورسولك صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم اغفر لهم وارحمهم بالجنة اللهم اجرهم بجوارك سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم مع الصديقين والشهداء والصالحين امين يا الله اللهم اغفر لهم يا الله امين يا القران اغفر لهم امين يا الله نور القران اغفر لهم امين يا الله ورحمة القران ارحمهم امين يا الله اللهم اغفر لهم امين ورحمة سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم امين يا الله وارحمهم بنور سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم امين يا الله واشفع لهم بشفاء سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم امين يا الله اللهم ارحمهم بجاه الكعبة ونور الكعبة وسر الكعبة امين يا الله اللهم اغفر لهم بنور الكعبة وسر الكعبة ونور الكعبة امين يا الله اللهم اغفر له وارحمه بنور المدينه امين يا الله المدينة أقفر امين امين يا الله اللهم اشفع له بنور المدينه امين يا الله اللهم ارحمه بنور المدينه امين يا الله اللهم ارحمه بنور القدس امين يا الله واشف له بنور القدس امين يا الله وسع مدخله بنور القدس امين يا الله مع الصديقين والشهداء امين يا الله اللهم اغسله بالماء السطر امين القبر امين ونقله من التمس امين وما يقصر Allahumma'alaikum. <laughs> Your Excellency, Dr. Mrs. Mariam Sanya Bacha, Lord Mamma Sanya Bacha, Mamma was in the Bacha family. Do I put my hand retired? But not at all tired. <laughs> Our dad, Karkwamba, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Your Excellency, we have just witnessed an award presentation to our late head of state, Mirazani Abacha, for his leadership and selfless service to the nation and for service to Africa at large. Empowerment of Fallen Heroes, Women and Children Initiative. Initiative. They are based in Abuja, but with their branches in UK and the United States. Apart from honoring uh, uh, great leaders and fallen heroes, the foundation provides counseling, support, rehabilitation for widows and children of fallen heroes. And they have been doing this very actively in the North, in the North East. The delegation was led by Mikari Yaro, who is the Vice President, yes. accompanied by other members, Dr. Chris, Dr. Henry, and Aisha Isamusa. Let's <laughs> answer, we have heard very elaborately, elaborately the reasons behind the presentation of this award. It was so many years after our late. Uh, leader departed us. Uh, we appreciate them, but the greater position will be done by Your Excellency. Please, you may now wish to respond to, to the to award. Okay, okay. 
came all the way from uh, Abuja into the humble home of uh, the late head of state and the uh, leader of Nigeria, General Sam, uh, General Sunny Abasha. And uh, it's also, from what I gathered, it's your birthday, and your organization decided to honor him, honor his family. Why did you take this decision, and uh, uh, what pushed you? Don't you think a lot of people read me into it? Why did you take the decision at this point in time in our national life? Okay. Yes, uh, good evening. My name is uh, Dr. Montariaro. I was born in Katana State and grown up in, in Katana State and did my educational uh, professionalism in uh, Kaduna State and United States of America. I have my first degree HND in Human Resource and Management. I have my uh, postgraduate diploma in Management Science. I have my master's degree in Strategy and Security Administration. And I have my doctoral degree in International Business and Strategy from the uh, Florida Atlantic International University. So and um, it's too much. <laughs> uh, I'm the vice president uh, of the empowerment of the Falling Heroes Women and Children Initiative in Nigeria, and uh, we have some branches across the globe, both in US and UK. And um, the committee in the foundation has uh, sat and discussed extensively and uh, remembered the good deeds that the late general dean to nigeria and africa at large is a great leader he's a leader who love africa not only nigeria he stands for the people of nigeria he work he depend them he protect them he support them he work with them and he make sure nigeria reach the highest great level and at the same time what is happening today in south africa that our nigerians brothers and sisters are being killed every day and our properties, Nigerian properties in South Africa are being destroyed every day. And we remember that if late general is alive, this kind of things will never happen. It will never ever happen because he always stand and support South Africa. They knew that the history will never forget that. And now after his, his demise, they are doing this to us. That is what touches our heart. That is what push us to say that no, we have to remember a good legacy that the general left and we will never forget that and history will never forget that and that is what push us that is what make us to say we have to honor him and honor has to be given to whom honor is due that is why we make the nominations and today we make the presentations of the award that is the reason now uh, looking at general Sonia Basha, what do you think uh, leaders of today can learn from him do you think there's anything that is uh, omitted in his leadership uh, uh, ability that the political class can take from uh, you mentioned specifically the issue of the xenophobic act in south africa against our nigerian brothers and you said that if he was on throne he was a leader of this country he would have treated the case in a different way so what do you think the political class especially the leadership at the helm of affairs should learn from late general sunny abasha yes uh what the uh they're supposed to learn or do at this time we are in now and what is happening now in south africa they have to recall how the our great leader does if a situation like this occurred and in terms of progress in any leadership you have to refer back to history what if this kind of things happens what do i need to do how do i need to do it and at the same time the hem of the leadership of the affairs of the country as they are our we have em embassy there they ha we have invoice there they're supposed to be standing with the nigerian people physically without any hidden agenda you are there to present to, to protect the nigerians to present the country in that country what do you so, supposed to do if there's problem like that you have to stand with your people you have to show that your people is your people you can even allow to yourself to be killed there to be as witness to the world that this is what they do to be representative of the country but a problem like this you can't just leave the country leave your people and to to, to a wonderland and the general would never allow that i believe if general is alive this thing will never happen he can send a delegate he can send he can even go himself 
That is how a leadership is supposed to be. This kind of thing will never happen to United States of America because they stand with, for their people. This kind of thing will never happen to the uh, Saudi Arabians because they stand for their people. So what we want the classical political leadership to look at this time around, if this kind of things happens, you have to be there, be with your people, stand with their people, protect your people, depend your people, and make sure that know anybody. Because there's thousands of South Africans here in Nigeria. Who, where do you see in Nigeria that they even slap a South African? No, any South African was slapped in Nigeria, and we have thousands of them. So, as no any South African was slapped, how comes that a South African will kill a Nigerian physically and publicly? Will will pour petroleum to his body and kill him instantly? No, any South African in Nigeria were even slapped. So as a as the classical leadership we are having today, they're supposed to be there with the Nigerians. No matter how bad Nigerian is, they are your people. They belong to you. You have to be there for them, no matter how bad they are. And I believe there is good Nigerians there, very good Nigerians. So that is the my readings, and that is why we, we said that. Then, what about uh, Dr. Miriam Abacha during her era as First Lady? We built the National Hospital in Abuja, and there are a lot of uh, initiatives, especially as related to family, economic, and uh, advancement, and uh, all policies that are very germane to the development of family in Nigeria and by extension Africa. So is that the reason you gave her a special uh, accolade today? You, you, you gave her a special endowment in a house? She has uh, our mother, Her Excellency, Hajia Mariam Sana Abacha. She has a very excellent quality as a mother, as a wife. She stands by, by the side, side by side with her husband. She supported him. She makes sure that anything that he needs her support, she is always there for him. And she was present until the time he left this world. And that is how we knew the history of a good wife. She has to be with her husband, no matter for better for worse. No matter how the situation is highly dangerous or no matter how the situation is very top, she has to be there for him, and which she does. And the, the world has witnessed that and that is what make us to say that today we have to make that presentation of gift to her because she she proved to the world that she's a good mother and a good wife so on the last note today's your birthday so why is it extraordinary <laughs> it's a will of allah <laughs> <laughs> that is you celebrate at home now but you find yourself in this place yes uh, I, I love it that way I'm happy like that very very happy so you give your birthday to General Sanaya Basha and the family yes for his remembrance yes for the, and the family it's true we love you and we say congratulations and thanks for this gesture it's a very rare gesture heroic gesture thank you very much I really appreciate it uh, the, 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 the organization for the fallen hero in Africa brought an award here and uh, they honored your dad, your father, that was the late elder statesman General Sonia Basha. How do you feel as a leader of this great family today that people can gi give their time, their schedule to come and honor him and also identify some of the political uh, policies that he perfected in his time that work for the country, especially at this trying period of our national life, sir? Well, thank you very much and uh, also thank you for taking time to uh, pay us a visit and witness the uh, occasion. Uh, first and foremost, I want to use the opportunity to thank the group, uh, the Fallen Heroes uh, Empowerment uh, Group that have found it uh, worthy and uh, looked through to uh, see uh, how best they can find the family and uh, give us this uh, presentation and it's a testi testimony and a testament also to uh, the good work of uh, our late father. Uh, he has been late for over 20 years now and uh, uh, we are happy that we are alive and well to witness uh, a lot of uh, events that have happened but like I said again it's a testimony to the good work he has done to the time uh, he has put uh, to bring unity, to bring peace, and uh, to uh, add a tremendous value to our country, Nigeria. Well, history will always judge you in the right way or in the wrong way. But uh, most preferably, we always want history to judge us uh, in the right way. Uh, you know, uh, actions are always uh, determined by intentions. And uh, what we thank God that uh, 
uh, willingly a lot of people are uh, coming out uh, and comparing uh, several years ago with uh, today and uh, uh, every aspect of it you know some come out some make statements some like uh, this uh, group have come out to to openly declare so uh, we 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 give glory and we give uh, thanks to almighty god all the time there's no burden there's nothing that is heavy and uh, yeah, like it is written in the bible and the quran god will not put a weight on your shoulder that you cannot carry so we're trying we thank god almighty for the strength and uh, for our health and life and uh, every as for our mother for every aspect of the uh, mercies and grace that god has given all of us if your dad was alive and south africa did us this way how do you think he would have treated the issue because a lot of people in nigeria are saying oh why should they kill our people and we are a bit lackadaisical we are not strong enough to give them force for force how do you think general Sonia Basha would have treated this xenophobic uh, act on nigeria well you know that would have been for him to give that good response and good answer uh, during his time things were different now things are different so i i, I would not be in the good uh, position to give you an answer of what he would think or how he would act uh, in situations of this nature. Definitely a lot of things are not uh, wrong, are not proper, are not done correctly. South Africa has not uh, treated our people well. But uh, you know, these are all the signs of the times. Uh, we hope that uh, everything will come out well. God will. Are you happy with Nigeria? The way it is now? Please. Nigeria is my country. Whether it is good or bad, I have nowhere to go other than it's my country. So uh, uh, I have nowhere other than uh, Nigeria. General, today is a very historic day in the family of late General Sonia Bacha, the Nigerian leader and a statement in his own right. Uh, what do you feel about this very honor for Falling Hero Award uh, that was bestowed upon him and his wife and his children today? You are part of the history too. We want to know your full name and what do you feel about the iconic honor? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm retired General Yakub Mumuazu. Used to be Commander Guards Brigade for the late general. And I was also military administrator of Sokoto State combined with Zampara. So we have worked with the great general, uh, I believe from 1994 uh, until he died. Uh, or 1990, I think, 1990. I was the military administrator when General uh, Atta was sent to Cross River State to be administrator, the governor. I would say at that time he was a governor. Um, so, well, I have uh, stayed with the great general and, and, and I've seen his vision and mission and Nigerians have seen it also. And he has done extremely well for Nigeria. In fact, as we were discussing with the gentleman by my side, the National Assembly was uh, part of his contribution. Moving to Abuja was a great movement. Uh, I mean, part of his, the late general's uh, uh, contribution to Nigeria's development and political well-being. And he has gone round Liberia. Wouldn't have been what it is without General Sani Abacha and Sierra Leone, of course. Exactly. And he made sure that the African... Uh, chaps like other great leaders of Nigeria has been, uh, you know, most of our countries were emancipated and given their right and honor and independence. And uh, he has done extremely well. And surely history will continue to bear him out. You know, I was asking his first son, uh, Al Haji Mohammed uh, Bacha, that uh, how do you think that history is rejudging him? Which is reassessing General Abasha. I want to ask you that question too. What is happening now? People coming to the family to give them a word to say, oh, we saw this, we are seeing this now, oh, we, are real we realize that this should have been like this. Do you think history is reassessing General Sonia Abasha? Well, without a doubt. Now, the most important thing, he is not the one to talk about himself, but the people who know him and the history, as you have mentioned. There are a lot of them. Uh, interestingly, most of the good quality historical facts, uh, either in the State House or in the Ministry of Defense, you know, and anybody who, either now or in the future, who want to research about this great uh, leader, when he goes to these two places, 
I'm sure he will find a lot and will be surprised. That's a funny question. Your days as a milad, mm. things were happening, you people were doing a lot of projects. Mm. Compared to now that we have governors, political elected governors, mm. is there any difference in your own days? What were those things you did as milad? Uh, you are uh, administrator of Sokoto, military administrator and uh, Zamfara. Yes. So what has changed really? Are you happy with the way things are going now when the roads are bad and things are not really proper? Mm. Well, you see Nigeria is developing and military governance was part of that development. Uh, the, the civilian administration is the best for us, without a doubt. All that needs to be done is that those who are in charge of affairs must sacrifice for the development and unity of Nigeria. Now, there, at the time I was a military administrator, sometimes we got zero. That is Sokoto and Zampara now. And the highest money we got was about 30 something million in in a month. I'm serious. That is something we know. Yes. I can't believe this. For Zamfara and Sokoto. The Asia. Yeah. To run the state and it was not easy. But now, you see, even before uh, the military handed over to the current dispensation that is now surviving, uh, it was difficult. But a lot of things were improving. And I pray and hope Nigeria will continue to improve and following the civil rule that we have, uh, uh, we are in and will continue to be. Because military rule is an aberration without a doubt. But it has its own time in history without a doubt. Oh, definitely, because the unity and uh, some development of Nigeria were enhanced by the military without a doubt. Actually, before I ask the last question, working closely with General Sonia Basha, who was the kind of person he is? I mean, when you see people write all sort of things about him today, you are close with him, you, you work closely with him. Who was he? A lot of people have a misconception. Some people say, oh, he was a wicked leader, oh, he killed people, he did this. But you work with him, you are his disciple. How would you define him? You know, Jesus asked in the Bible that, who do you think people say I am? So who was General Sonia Basha? Well, this, this is a very serious Nigerian who was after Nigeria's development. Mm. And he was somebody who was shying away from any military regime. So the whole thing that happened to him really happened by some accident. Historical accident, let me call it. He was never interested. He wanted to go back to Kano, you know, and then uh, stay there and live with his fa uh, family quietly. But, uh, uh, you know, historical uh, antecedents brought him to power. You call it historical accidents? Sort of accident. Well, let me call it that accident. Anything about military regime might look like an accident. I don't know whether God makes accident anyway. You know, because nothing happens unless God wills. But whatever the, is, the, the case, military regime surely is not what Nigeria deserves. It's the civilian administration. And I hope the current dispensation and the ones to come in many years to come will surely win the hearts and mind of Nigerians. If General Bashar was alive, how would you have treated apartheid, the xenophobic attack? You know, we helped them to solve apartheid, but they're now killing us with xenophobic uh, veins and all that. How do you think General would have handled it? Well, it's very difficult to think for the great General. I was only his uh, humble uh, servant, I would say, as his uh, military assistant. Uh, I don't think he would have uh, liked that because he had made a lot of sacrifices for for that country and of course all Nigerians. So I think the incident happening in South Africa, I believe is some accident somewhere. It's not all South African that is uh, against Nigeria. It's a matter of some miscreants and any country have them. I, hope, I have no doubt Nigeria and South Africa will work out this, their problems and sort out this problem. It's not the uh, normal thing that is happening. Without a doubt, Nigeria has done well for the independence of uh, South Africa. Without a doubt. So we'll make it up. You, ha you have miscreants everywhere. So it's just an accident of history or whatever. And I think everything will be quite good between Nigeria and uh, South Africa. 
say uh, lastly say something about uh Adria, dr mira Abacha. she looks like somebody that has a lot of initiatives and when her husband was the head of state she did a lot of contribution if at the time they thought she was even even picking some of the ministers mm -hmm. so who is she and how will you describe her personality well you are lucky she's here she can talk about herself <laughs> You know, uh, because actually she was the mother of the nation, very articulate, and I'm sure she can speak well for herself. Her programs are there, the family support program, and anybody could see it. Uh, she has done extremely well, and I'm sure if you allow her, she will speak well for herself, but I, I will give her kudos for all that she has done as the, the uh, first lady then and the mother of the nation.